what is going on? Hope you're having a fantastic day and thank you for stopping by fellow fans of Clash of Clans. We are in the midst of an absolutely epic clan war where we trail 14-0. All right, but we have time to get some attacks underway and we really just need to focus primarily on this base right here. This is their number one maxed out Town Hall 12. And yes, in today's clan war, we did make the mistake of including Peter $17 again. And yes, it appears that he tried to lose the clan war for us. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment, but let's get this attack underway first, where we're going to go ahead and use Queen Charge Hog Rider with the Queen dropping out in the corner here. A little bit of uh, funneling first to get the uh, baby dragons out here to try to get the Queen to go clockwise. I want her to start at three o'clock and then go down so that we can make sure we get the defending Archer Queen and the Eagle Artillery out of the way first. So Galadon being extraordinarily patient, waiting longer than I normally do to try to get an accurate funnel going. And then the Archer Queen goes down, her healers in to follow after a couple of coconut loons, make sure there's no black seeking air mines in the immediate area. Then we've got the siege machine down, here it comes. And it is actually going to distract the defending Archer Queen, which works out really well because the attacking Archer Queen gets her down out of the way. And of course, unfortunately, we would have liked to have seen the Siege Machine make it through that next layer of walls, uh, but it was a long way to the Town Hall. And now what we're doing right here is going for that V-shaped funnel. If you remember me talking about this in previous episodes, when you go after these anti-two-star bases, these box bases with the Town Hall in the very center, this is what I've found is the most effective strategy, and that is trying to funnel in one direction or one arm of the V with the Archer Queen, which is exactly what is happening here. Then the Barbarian King comes in later, and as he moves in, notice there will not be a healer switch because the Archer Queen is taking a lot of damage. The Barb King, he moves off, and he's going to complete the other leg of the V out on the opposite side. He'll use his ability when he needs to, but what you're going to see in the meantime is this opening, this funneling for the hog riders. So yes, of course, we would love the easier bases with the town halls on the outside, but this way, as the Barb King moves forward, here come the hog riders, and although they don't go for the town hall first, a simple earthquake spell wakes up that town hall, weaponizes it, and sure enough, with the king's funneling help and a little bit of luck right there as the king kind of redirected, the hog riders easily destroy the town hall and then wait for it. Watch the 300 IQ poison freeze combination right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is one professional Clash of Clans player dropping the freeze and the poison together so that the balloons fall victim to the poison spell. Uh, that was a little bit of luck also, but it works out really well that it really looks like I know what I'm doing. So it makes me excited when those things happen. Now that's the last heal spell and these hog riders they're going baby we've got this i am just a little bit excited as i finally realize that i'm going to pick up the triple against this stinking base and it feels good okay it's not a stinking base i'm sure that this player thought well when he designed it i would have done differently with the walls just saying but the cleanup troops go down and finally galadon remembers hey don't drop all like five wizards in the exact same spot spread them out because look at the time you guys final 10 seconds five buildings to go eight seconds three buildings to go can he do it is he gonna make it okay it wasn't that close but five seconds i had five seconds remaining and we picked up the three star okay i'm sorry but i get excited about these silly things and yes i realize i'm fully maxed offense going against a base that was nowhere near maxed so whatever call me a bully that's not bullying this is clash of clans but okay here we go so this is the war map 14 2 1 2 3 so 14 to 3 and that was really the hardest hurdle that we had to face this is the town hall 11 their number two base and just to take the pressure off of peter i agreed to hit the town hall 11 the number two base and technically really we only need peter to hit numbers three and four and uh, i decided that it would be fun why not to go with that's right homies bay Hog right. Oh, okay. So there is this. And now, you guys, this is the Gem Fix Farm Max That Rush accounts. So if you want to see all the spending that's happening, make sure you pop on over to that series. It's on my channel. There is a playlist with all like 60 something episodes. And yes, we have spent over four grand uh, on that account recently. So here we go Homies Bay. Hog Riders, Miners, and Bat Spells spells out Homies Bay. Now, this is a pretty spammy, straightforward strategy of throw down the miners in a long line along one side of the base, then drop in all of your heroes, 
then send in the hog riders. In this case though, I did not send in the siege machine. You'll notice I saved the siege machine just in case the unlikely event that I failed with getting that town hall down. Okay, so what we did was we kind of, the, the rage spell, I don't know, it was questionable. I tried to catch both groups of units, the heroes and the hogs right there with the rage spell. Now the hogs moving down on the left. You've got the bats moving in behind the hogs. No wizard towers out here. Single target inferno, so just way too easy for me right now, right? We've got a freeze spell left for the wizard tower as we close in. We've got the warden ability. We've got the queen ability. Okay, I know, it's a town hall 11. But if this were a 12, I'm thinking this strategy is just about as effective and check it out right here, the siege machine. Just, let's just say that we struggled to get through the rest of the space. The siege machine would have the ability to get through the multi-target inferno here and then move on to what could be a weaponized Town Hall 12 and avoid what could have otherwise been a 99% one star. And yes, you know what I put in the siege machine? You want to guess? A little bit of a surprise. We dropped in Valkyries right there. So I figured Valkyries would probably get through the Town Hall if all else went wrong. But there you go. Okay, so that's the second three star attack. So, so far looking good. We are now down only 14 to six. And now we've got a couple of really low town halls. And then Peter $17, he doesn't have a lot of things to go after here. I mean, we're gonna attack number five with, no, what? Peter, what? Don't bother Peter, me, I'm busy. Great, he's, he's attacking from the bathroom, That's folks. Wrong. All right, so Peter, I did not tell you to attack yet. Okay, I'm we should be fine I'm because this is a town hall eight. And even though it is only four town hall levels lower than Peter, he should still be able to destroy it. This is ridiculous, Peter. Let me do my business. Just focus, Peter. Just to oh my gosh. Okay, so fine. I don't even know what is happening here. He's got thirty Valkyries. Typical. That's his favorite unit. Uh, he asked me to fill his wall wrecker with Valkyries also because he says they're the best troop. That's and um, right. I'm sparing you guys from letting him narrate his own attack here because obviously. This wasn't the most challenging of wars. We will wait for a tougher, nice, nice spam, Peter. Uh, we'll wait for a tougher war uh, to get Peter back in here. Besides, there seems to be like this viewer revolt every time, or maybe it's just revolting every time Peter shows up in the episodes. Just saying, okay, so it looks like we are fine. Peter's going to take this base and wipe it out. And all right, so that's, man, those rage spells are everywhere. So easy overkill three star for Peter. And then we're going to have him attack the next one. Because remember, you guys, I, I try to balance this war out by bringing a bunch of really low-level Town Halls. So in addition to my Town Hall 12, I'm bringing like my 234 or a 235 or maybe a 236. So that we try to weight it so that we get favorable matchups. Even if number one and two on the other side are Town Hall 12s, I'm usually okay because I have maxed out offense. And then this is number five. So I'm gonna go after this one with my Town Hall six. And this is only, I believe that's a Town Hall five. So it's not exactly the biggest challenge uh, to take this down, but we will show kind of some strategy with Town Hall six, which I think is a lot of fun back in the old days when we used to use lightning spells and lure out clan castles and that sort of thing. So we'll go ahead and fill Peter's clan castle again, give him another siege machine, just to make sure he overwhelms number four. We don't want anything to go wrong here because this is a very close race for the finish line here in this clan war. I mean, 14 stars, they two start. Now, Peter, what are you, oh, okay. This is fine. This is gonna be tough for him to fail. So this obviously, I mean, even Peter wouldn't fail on this base, what? right, Peter? Yeah, they don't. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Okay, so um, well, he's got, well, at least, hey, thankfully he at least trained spells and troops. Not that he really needs them. Uh, although in Peter's case, he probably does uh, need the entire army to take this down. So, all right, so he's got the Barb King and he's got the Barb King. All right, so very, very funny, Peter. Just attack. Yeah, we don't know trash talk. All right, he's... Okay, so fine. He's going to drop the Barb King. I mean, he's probably got enough time to destroy this entire base with just the King, which is really clever. That's really unique and really original. All right, so um, we'll just wait for it here, you guys. Bear with me as we go through this. Oh, oh he's dropped the Archer Queen. Oh, hallelujah, miracles happen. We're going to get through this in less than three minutes as the Archer Queen should go after the Town Hall. Look at me narrating a Town Hall 12 versus a Town Hall seven or whatever it is. I, 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 okay, hold on. I accidentally clicked on that archer tower. Okay. Let's see. There are some, 
There's one camp on the outside. 39% so far, two star. Look at the little baby mortar firing pebbles at the Archer Queen there. Those are some tiny balls. Peter, just focus on your attack. All right, and uh, let's see as we do this. It looks like this should miraculously. Wow, Peter, you can actually three star a baby base. I can do what I want. You're, you're, you're skilled. Okay, let's be nice. I don't want to act like we're in global or anything, right? Okay, let's just look. Oh, come on, Peter. Peter, come on. Seriously? Why? Oh, yeah, now he goes silent. All right. Okay, so, well, okay, so here's the thing as, as, uh, okay. Here's, here's the thing that we look at. Peter tanks intentionally his second attack. But notice the score here as we are closing in on the final moments of this war. Uh, it's 1411, and only the number five base remains. So it's up to me to switch over to my Town Hall 6 and go after this base and tie the score in stars. Now, if this were a tougher base, just think of the fact that you've got a few archers that you're going to use to lure out to activate the clan castle. Maybe I drop them over in this little gap right here by the walls and by that arrow. That pulls the troops out of the clan castle. Then you pull the troops, you get them to path over by that air defense by dropping troops up and to the left. Then you drop a lightning spell on the air defense that wipes out the defending CC troops and the air defense at the same time, okay? We, we can't do that here because obviously the CC is empty, but just imagine if we did it. It was a lot of fun. I remember this back in the day. Then once the troops are standing on the air defense, you drop the lightning spell and it takes out most of the clan castle troops, sometimes all, it depends upon what was in there, and of course the air defense. And now with the air defense really being the only thing we had to worry about other than the single wizard tower, there's no chance that we're going to fail right here. And this will work even Town Hall 6 versus a maxed out Town Hall 6. A strategy like this will be very effective. And then the cleanup archers on the outside just kind of trying to help out a little bit. We are not going to have an issue with time here. The balloons actually really nicely are splitting up. If you get them to all bunch up into one group, then it can be a little bit challenging. You have to start to worry about, are they going to get to everything? But we had them in like five different groups and that worked out perfectly. Here it comes, the final building, and it's another three star, and now the war is going to be tied 14 to 14. So it appeared maybe that Peter was trolling us, or I'm not sure what was going on, or maybe he's just trying to put the pressure on me, because although it is tied 14-14, you can see that we two starred their number four, they two starred my number one base, the maxed out, or okay, the gem fix farm maxed that rush town hall 12. And there we go. So we win on percentage simply because we had a couple more percentage points uh, against their base. And uh, so even, even if I wasn't able to go back and hit this with my own town hall six, which we did, by the way, we're going to do right now, even if this wasn't successful, we would have won the war. So we're going to have to ask Peter, was he intentionally trying to troll? Was he trying to be funny? Was, and, and, and no, we're not, I'm doing you a favor right now. We're not bringing him on to have him talk about it. Okay. Because nobody wants to listen to that voice for more than a few seconds, every episode. And I totally understand. Okay. I really do. Trust me. I live with it day in and day out. And it's tough. And uh, it's, it's definitely been a trying experience on um, my marriage and my entire family life. And uh, just saying, Peter, $17 is a challenge to live with. And uh, yeah, bathroom or not. Anyway, so this is the attack. As you can see, it's going to be a three star. And whether or not Peter, $17 attacks, we are going to succeed in winning the clan war because we've got the perfect war. That's right, 15 stars and uh, feeling pretty good. So yes, we win another war. We're on a win streak of like six or seven wars in a row. These 5v5s are a blast. Let me know what you guys think, and if you would like to see more of this, please do like the video, and let me know what you think I could do to improve the 5v5 experience. In the meantime, thank you as always for hanging out all the way to the end of this somewhat trying episode. You guys are the true hashtag Galafam. I appreciate every last one of you. Now get out there, appreciate the best of the rest of your day, be kind to everybody, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more Fuller Attacks. Peter.
don't want you and you let me talk. Hey, Peter, actually try in a clan war and you can next time. Definitely don't. Okay. Fine.